happy Easter. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm sending everybody lots of healthy wishes and hoping everybody is staying safe. I just want to say thank you guys for following along with my video and supporting me. It really means a lot. I wanted to do something to be involved still, even for my own home, and this is the best way that I know how, so thank you guys. And yeah, so today I'm going to be trying a little bit of something different, doing a little bit of a vlog style video. So join me today while I make butternut squash raviolis uh, with a pasta maker that my grandma recently gave to me. So thank you grandma, shout out. Okay, so for the first step of making our ravioli, we are going to make the butternut squash filling. You're gonna start with your squash in a pot and you're going to add enough cream just to cover it. Um, you can use water as well, but I like to use cream because it makes it a little bit more creamy. Okay, now that our squash is on, we are going to start the pasta dough. So these are the ingredients that you will need. Pasta dough is resting and our butternut squash is ready so we are going to blend it and then we are going to cool it. Okay, so as you can see there, I had my butternut squash puree back into the pot because I ended up thickening it a little bit more with a cornstarch slurry because you don't want it to be too loose, otherwise it's just going to run everywhere. Okay, so now the next step, now that our butternut squash is cooling, we are going to roll out our pasta. Okay guys, I have all of the pasta rolled out, nice and thin. I use my pasta roller as you've seen, but you can use a rolling pin. The only thing is, is you have to try to get it as thin as you can, otherwise your pasta will be chewy and it's not very good if you do that. So now I'm gonna start by filling my raviolis and I'll show you the process right now.
raviolis are ready. As you can see, I made a circle one and a square one. For the square one, if you don't want to do the fork method, you can do the water as well. It doesn't really matter, whatever you like to do, as long as you have those edges sealed so that the filling doesn't pop out when you cook them. The next step that I did was boiling my raviolis in salted water for a few minutes until the dough was soft. It does not take a very long time because the dough is fresh. And another thing that I did when I made the pasta is I melted a little butter with some sage in it and made it brown a little bit and then I added my pasta into that pan near the end. And I'll show you that clip coming up right now. Alright, that is our finished plate of pasta. If you want, you can top it with parmesan and some fresh parsley like I did, or you can top it with whatever you like. Um, let me know if you try out the recipe. It turned out really well for me, so I'd like to see how it would turn out for you guys. If you end up using a rolling pin, also let me know how it goes and if you got the dough thin enough and all of that. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this video with me and let me know in the comments below which ravioli you like better, the circle one or the square one.